Listener, I know you know that the Missions Evangelism Ministry getting ready to go to Guyana. Well, now is the time to get involved and be a support to their trip. Yes, you can support them by donating items. They are collecting items such as non-perishable foods. The expiration dates though should be 2020 or later. Canned goods, so that means canned beans, canned vegetables, carnation milk, canned meat, tuna, sardine, corned beef, spam, etc. You know them things. Soup. Then they're looking for powdered goods, you know, sugar, flour, instant coffee, tea, hot chocolate, powdered milk, dehydrated soup, you know, them things there. Dry goods like rice, can't do without rice, you know, pasta, bag beans, peas, instant hot cereal, small box cereals, and the only liquid goods, cooking aisles and baby formula. Remember. The expiration date has to be 2020 and later. So why don't you support the Missions Evangelism Ministry for their trip and donate these items? Ha ha! Brothers and sisters, how are you? It's your radio DJ Coco Love. Reporting to you live from WW1261TOP. I need you to stop what you're doing right now because I need you to save the date. On August 10th, 2019, we'll be having an evangelism open air right here at T.O.P. Where we'll be reaching out to the community with praise and worship. If you are serious about your faith and you are serious about making an impact on your community, we're asking everyone to come on down and get involved. You can see Elder Hines or Elder Bradshaw for more information. It'll be on August 10th from 12 p.m. till 2 p.m. See you there. On Saturday, September 28th at 3 p.m., the Allen Jameson Ensemble will be hosting Black Women Rock Five. This award ceremony highlights several outstanding women in our community, and this year, our First Lady, Delicia Garns, is one of the recipients. Tickets are $20 and extremely limited. If interested in attending, please see Sister Rayma Dawkins or Sister Lorraine Krishlow. Vivian and James Drakeford worked hard to make their trucking company a success. They also trusted in a simple, biblical principle. He showed up and he showed out. It just taught me to give and stay faithful to God. But the road to prosperity was a rough one. Two years after they married, both were laid off from their jobs at a local industrial plant. We were devastated because we just had got married and had acquired a home and everything, you know. They both drew unemployment and began the difficult search for jobs. Well, we were rubbing two nickels together. Money wasn't coming in, bills were stacking up. Take one credit card and pay another, and still getting behind. We was depressed a lot. James took every odd job he could find, but after three years, they were still unemployed. The financial stress drove Vivian back to the Christian faith of her childhood. She began to attend church and learned about tithing. I just told him, Lord, um, I don't know how to tithe because we're in so much debt. I said, but if you can bring us out of this debt, I promise you, I will tithe. It wasn't long before James committed his life to the Lord and joined Vivian in a commitment to tithe. I gave it 10% to my church and provided for other people, even though I didn't have. Within a few months, James and Vivian both landed full-time jobs. They came back. I got me a good job and provided income. He even got off on employment. Soon afterwards, the couple took advantage of a business opportunity to start a trucking company. They pledged to tithe on every penny they made. Your friends said, you'll never make it. I said, with God's help and my wife behind me, we'll make it. After several difficult months, the company began showing a profit. When I saw that first check, I knew I needed to be faithful to God and my local church. Over the next several years, the company grew rapidly. Ten years later, when the Drakefords wanted to get out of business, 
Their profit depended on the sale of their last big rig. We were able to sell that truck and made a good profit. That sale doubled their profits and guaranteed the Drakefords a comfortable retirement, helped pay off their mortgage, and allowed James to get back into the driver's seat. Just the freedom, seeing the country. The Drakefords say it was their willingness to give freely that put them on the road to financial success. Have faith in God and believe it will happen. Absolutely.